All right, guys, so we have our auth service created. Now we're going to bring in our login link. All right, so let's go to, let's see, we want to go to appcomponent.html and go to where we have our profile link. We'll go right above it and put in an li. Okay, and that will have an a tag. We'll say href to uh, the number sign. Okay, and this is going to have a click event. So we'll say click, and then we're going to set that equal to auth dot login. All right, and for the text, we'll just say login. All right, so let's see what that does. Okay, so we have the login, I click it, and there we go. It opens up the box. We can log in, we can also sign up. Now before we do that, I'm going to close that, and I want to have a log out link. So let's copy this right here, and then after profile, we'll change this to log out. And we want to change this click right here. It's going to be equal to auth.logout. Okay, and so if we save that, we don't want to be able to see logout if we're not logged in, and we don't want to see login if we're if we are logged in. So we're going to add an ng if. Let's start with uh, the login link. So ng if, and then we can say if not auth dot authenticated. Okay, so it's looking at that authenticated function that's in the service, and let's just copy this. And then in the log out link, we'll paste that in. Just get rid of the exclamation, which means if we are authenticated. So let's save. And now you can see the log out link is gone. So let's click login and we're going to go and sign up. So let's add here um, tech guy info at Gmail. Now, what's really cool about this is you can see right when I end typing in my my email address it's a gmail address so it automatically pops up your image your avatar which which is really cool um, and then for the password paste that in and then sign up okay now we signed up and we it logged us in you can see that we get log out now all right and if we go to our dashboard here and go to users there it is there's the user it says I logged in a few seconds ago so you can see how easy it is to implement that now if we click log out now we get um, login and profile now I want to I don't want profile to show if we're not logged in so let's go ahead and add the same thing here that we did with um, log out Okay, we'll just paste that in. Okay, so now if we're not logged in, we don't see the profile link. Now we can still go to profile, which we're not going to want, but we're going to do that in another video when we implement access control. All right, so uh, we now have a lot of uh, registration and login system, and we can basically um, show and hide things using this. So, for instance, let's go to our home component, HTML, and right under this, let's put in, uh, we'll put in an H5, and then we'll do our ng if auth dot authenticated, and we'll say you are logged in and then we'll copy that and we'll just put an exclamation here and we'll say you are not logged in please whoops please click the login link above all right, you can put whatever you want. 
So you're not logged in, please click the login link above. And now notice that since we are already logged in, it's going to ask if we want to use that same account. Okay, and I can click that and it'll just automatically log us in. Okay, so our system is now working. And we should have access to profile information as well. So if we go to profile component TS and let's add a property here called profile, set it to any. And then in the constructor, we're going to say this dot profile is equal to local storage dot get item profile. All right, and let's actually wrap that in JSON dot parse. OK, because it's stored as a string. And then we'll save that. And let's actually see what that gives us by saying console log this dot profile. OK, and I'm going to just log out. And then log back in. Uh, let's see, what's this? We couldn't find your session. Try logging in again. Huh, that's weird. Let's try that again. Oh, wrong, wrong login. Okay, so there we go. Now if I click on profile down here, you can see we have an object with some information. Okay, so we have the client ID, the email, um, global client ID name, which is the email address, nickname, picture, and what's in identities? Not much. All right, so I guess we could get the, the email, the, the name, the nickname, the picture, updated at. All right, so let's grab some of that and put it in the profile. Okay, so let's see. Profile.component.html. Let's put, um, let's put an H5, and we'll say... Um, let's say name and then profile dot nickname and I'll actually we'll say nickname let's see if that comes through okay yeah and it does nickname tech guy info and then let's put a a UL, we'll give it a class of list group. And we'll say li class list group item. We'll say email. Set that to profile.name is where the email is. All right, and let's wrap these in strong tags. Okay. Let's see, what are we doing here? Template parse errors, unexpected character. Oh, my strong tag wasn't closed properly. Okay, so we have user profile, nickname. Uh, we can also use the image. So what we can do here, let's put in a div class. Uh, we'll put a class of row. And we'll wrap that. And then let's do uh, a couple columns. So div class. And let's say call MD2. So that'll be where the image goes. And then we'll do 
div class call md 10 and we'll wrap that ul all right now in here let's put in an image and i'm just going to say style with 100 percent Oops, that should actually that doesn't need an ending tag. And then the source. So let's see, it gives us this URL, which is a gravatar URL. So it's in picture. So profile.picture should do it. And there we go. So we get a picture. And let's give it a class. I think Bootstrap has a class of thumbnail, which gives it like a border. Yep. And then we can do we can do our updated at. So we'll copy this li. And let's say profile last updated. And then that should be at updated at. All right, what else? Uh, I guess that's it. We could do uh, email verified, which is false. We don't have verification. So, I mean, we could put that, but that's not really important for people to see. So we'll just keep that out. All right, so, you, you know, you can do, you can experiment and you can add fields as well, which I'll show you how to do. So yeah, we'll do that in the next video. We'll take a look at some of the options. All right, and then after that, we'll implement um, the auth guard so that we can't go to things like the profile page if we're not logged in. Okay, so we'll get to that next.